This is a simple circuit, a bulb connected to a power supply. An ammeter measures current, a voltmeter measures voltage. When the voltage is increased, the lamp gets brighter, there's more current. More energy is being transferred. This suggests that current and voltage are linked. To investigate the relationship between voltage and current, we've replaced the bulb with a length of fine wire. The voltage is increased by regular amounts, and the corresponding current is recorded. In general, as the voltage increases, so also does the current. But to analyse this trend more closely, we need to plot our data on a graph. Values of voltage V on the y-axis are plotted against values of the current I on the x-axis. The graph is a straight line, which means that voltage and current are directly proportional. If the voltage is doubled from 1 to 2 volts, the current is doubled from 0.2 to 0.4 amps. If the voltage is three times greater, the current is also three times greater. So V is proportional to I. If we call the gradient of the line R, this proportionality can be written as V equals RI. Rearranging gives R equals V divided by I. Check out what happens to voltage and current when the wire is replaced with a resistor. Plot the resistor data on the same graph and you can see that it's also a straight line, but this time it's steeper. For the wire, the gradient R equals V divided by I. So 4 divided by 0.8 gives a gradient of 5. For the resistor, the gradient equals 5 divided by 0.34 equals 14.7. The value of the gradient is known as the resistance and is measured in ohms. So the resistance of the wire is 5 ohms, but for the resistor, much more, 14.7 ohms. Resistance is a measure of how difficult it is for electrons to flow through a material. Here's our model of a simple circuit. There's an escalator as a power supply and paddle wheel as circuit component. Now we change the component for another with more resistance. The bigger wheel is harder to turn, so it's more difficult for the electrons to flow. They move more slowly, so the current is reduced. If the graph of voltage against current is a straight line through the origin, the component is said to follow Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that, at constant temperature, voltage and current are directly proportional. But not all components follow Ohm's law. Look what happens to the current through a bulb when voltage is varied. Here's the graph. It's not a straight line. As current increases, the graph gets steeper. The resistance of the bulb is increasing. This time, voltage and current are not proportional, so the bulb does not obey Ohm's law. It's called a non-ohmic component.